Hello, Aries. So the last reading I did, I was getting that a lot of your exes are going to start popping back up. Um, you're not even going to want them, though. I feel like you've leveled up so much the last few months, the last year. You know, you're going to get the closure that you want with your exes. Um, you've really just leveled up. And you also have new love coming in. So you're going to have a lot of love you know, just flowing in kind of unexpectedly for some of you. Some of you might be single and not even talking to anyone right now. And before you know it, you've got a couple choices. So let's see what's going on. Waiting, hoping, praying. Dreams, visions, and telepathy. So some kind of telepathic connection here is what I'm feeling. Um, hesitation and mixed feelings. Apology and regret. Love offer, commitment. Ooh, that's a good card to get. Shyness, fear of rejection. Stagnation, complacency, and mutual feelings, emotional depth. Okay. So I'm feeling two different energies here. Um, and it does go along with what I was getting before, where I feel like a lot of your exes are going to come back, but you're not going to want them because you've leveled up. Your perspective has changed, so you're not really entertaining the same kind of people that you might have entertained before in the past. Feels like... You've been waiting and hoping and praying for love for a long time. You've been trying to manifest love for a long time, and it's going to manifest all at once. I feel like there's a very deep telepathic connection here, a very deep psychic connection. You might be having visions about this person, having dreams about this person. And this right here honestly seems like a second person. It feels like... Well, I get a couple messages from this. For some, I feel like you're telepathically connecting with someone and they hesitated at first, like they had mixed feelings about it because they maybe were not used to soulmates, twin flames, uh, psychic work, uh, witchcraft, whatever it might be. They were kind of hesitant. They didn't understand this kind of connection. This could be a twin flame connection for some of you. And now they feel regret. Now they want to apologize because, you know, this is this is a psychic connection. It is a soulmate or a twin flame connection. They just weren't used to that. And it might have kind of confused them at first. Like they might have questioned it. They might not have understood this energy. And now they want to make this love offer. For others, so I think there's two different stories here. For others, I feel like you're connecting with someone um, psychically and you're going to have this ex that was hesitant in the past coming back around and apologizing and showing you this, you know, like offering this rose regret. Because you see there's two roses being offered here. But they look how different it looks, though. Like, look at just how the energy is different. This one is like filled with pain. It's filled with regret. It's filled. It's like this this masculine or, or feminine, feminine or masculine. This person is like, you know, buried, they're under the dirt, and they're trying to offer this, this rose, but it's almost like it's, like, too late, like, they've already, they've dug in this, they've dug this, themselves this grave, they can't really get out of this, whereas this is more, this is, like, new, this is a little bit more pure, cleaner, does that make sense? I hope so. Um... But yeah, you have a lot of love offers coming in, you might not be expecting it, but I, that's what I'm feeling, I feel like... Honestly, I feel like Mercury Retrograde is going to be a little intense for you. Um, and we just started it on the 29th, I believe. And it's lasting until, I think, like the third or fourth week of June. And I'm feeling like your dreams are going to be really affected by this. You're going to be having dreams about your exes, possibly having dreams about this, this new love that's either just come in or coming in for you. Um, you're going to be having... I feel like lots of twists and turns. You're going to have a lot of unexpected truths coming out, um, both good and bad. I just feel like this is going to be kind of a life-changing month for you is honestly the energy that I'm getting. I just feel like 
there's a lot of old karmic cycles that are wrapping up for you and new cycles are beginning so the remnants of those old karmic cycles might be being cleared away right now I hope that makes sense. Like, let's say you're having financial struggles, for example. Let's say that, you know, you've been having financial struggles for a while now, but your finances are, like, you're really struggling with, right, with, with it right now. Or with love. Like, you're really struggling with love right now more than usual. It's almost like these negative karmic cycles are, like, being wrapped up so that you can clear this energy out and start a new cycle that's going to be more positive and make you happier. I hope that makes sense. Um... But you do have some love offer coming in here. You do have, I think you have more than one love offer, honestly. I feel like you have, this year, this year is gonna be life changing for you. Like in the fall, in the winter, you're gonna look back and you're gonna be surprised just how far you've come. Like, if you're dealing with financial struggles by, you know, the fall, the winter, I feel like you're going to be way out of those struggles. Like, you're going to be making a lot more money than you expected, uh, especially if you're, like, an entrepreneur or, you know, starting your own business. Like, it's going to be successful for, you know, a lot of you is what I'm feeling. Same with love. There's just a lot of twists and turns, but it's going to be ultimately for the best. It's, it's something that's going to make you happy. I hope that makes sense. It's like... You might, let's say you go through a breakup. Let's say you have this toxic relationship and, and you go through a breakup. It's like, it's going to end up being for the best because then you're going to meet your life partner this year. It's just that kind of energy. Like you might have some tower moments here and there. And in the moment, they might be a little bit uncomfortable and kind of confusing. You're like, why is this happening? Like you just kind of wanted to go slow and steady. And then your guides drop these bombs on you like, nope, we're, we're diving into the deep end, like step out of your comfort zone. Um, so some of you might not really see that coming, but you're, you're going to like it. I don't feel like it's going to be a traumatic thing. I feel like it's going to be like, you're going to know that it's for the best. Like, let's say you're holding on to a stagnant job and, and you end up losing the job or like you end up finding something else. Like at first it's kind of scary and uncomfortable, but like your soul wants that. Your soul is going to know that that's what's best for you, that this, these cycles have to be cleared out for new energy to come in. So like you're out of that stagnant energy, you're coming out of that stagnant energy. And sometimes it's, you know, it's just a little bit rough. Um, I'm also feeling like there could be an ex that's going to see you with this person and they're going to be shy and they're going to be afraid of rejection. They're going to be afraid of getting hurt because they're going to know you have better now and they're going to be stagnant. And what are they going to do? Finances, career. They're going to try to make you jealous, honestly, is what I get. They're going to be nostalgic, and they're going to try to make you jealous. And at some point, sooner or later, I actually feel like you have a couple exes. So you have one ex that's just kind of a weak-minded person, and I feel like that's the one that's going to offer you an apology. And then you have another ex who's actually pretty toxic and pretty conceited and um, narcissistic and, like, just will not admit defeat. Very stubborn, very set in their ways. And I feel like that ex, when they see you with this person, so so you being with this new person, whether this has just come in or it's coming in, it's your exes are gonna feel it. Like your exes are gonna feel that, like wow, you found your life partner. Like you're happy, you're successful. Like you're you're gonna be living your dreams out this year. Like you're it's finally coming in for you. Um, so yeah, you have one ex that's just gonna apologize, and then you have this other ex that's gonna like be. Too af like they're gonna want to talk to you, but they're gonna be too afraid of getting rejected, and they're gonna pretend like oh they're just focusing on their finances. They might be partying. They might be, they're gonna be nostalgic, but they're not gonna tell you. You know what I mean? Like they're gonna want to come home to you and be with you again, but it's it's kind of pathetic because it's like their their pride is still getting in the way, even as they've lost you to someone else, even as they're feeling you with someone else, they're still gonna hold on to their pride. And I think eventually they're going to cave and that's, I think this is the person that you're going to get that closure with. Cause I feel like this other apology is not going to mean that much to you, but this one, like with this narcissist that really messed you up in the past, you're going to be like, yeah, it's about time 
the roles were reversed and I get the apology, you know, because they're going to have to, but it's going to take them longer. This person's going to come in quicker and apologize. And this other ex, that's a little bit more stubborn, you know, cockier, um, more set in their ways. They're going to take longer to apologize. But when, when they do, I feel like it's almost going to give you the sense of like freedom. It's like, you never thought you would hear that from them of all people. Like you, they might've told you off in the past or they said they didn't need you. They just, they're all, all about their ego. And I just feel like it's going to just be freeing. It's going to give you the sense of closure that you finally got to hear it from them, but you're not going to care to be honest. Like it'll feel good. Like you'll kind of like have a little smirk on your face about it, but you're going to be so in love with this other person that it's like, you're going to be like, okay, that's, that's cool. Whatever. Like you're not, it's not going to mean that much to you because you've got mutual feelings here with this person. And if this is your reading and you want a paid private reading, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box below this video. Um, any donations are appreciated as well. And my donation links are below. And please subscribe if this resonates. Publicity, social media domination control someone is almost going to try to control you through your social media like they're going to try to spy they're going to try to have the upper hand um it's not going to work though yeah they're used to you guys being on and off they're used to it being a power struggle and you're you usually when you're lonely you get back in that cycle with them or you have in the past at least i feel like maybe it's been a while since you have because like I said, you've really been leveling up. But um, yeah, you're, you're, you're ending the cycle. You don't care about this person anymore. They're going to be hitting you up and you're going to be like traveling with the love of your life. Like adventure, honeymoon, vacation, like going new places, falling in love, the honeymoon phase. Like this person's going to be like, what? Like our drama is over? Like... You know, you're not going to chase me. I'm not going to chase you. It's just over. And you're going to be like, yeah, pretty much. Like, I'm living my life. I'm living my best life. I don't care about that anymore. Okay. So you have two exes that are kind of stupid. No. Um, mostly, it's mostly just the second one, honestly. The, the other one is, like, sweet, but they're... The energy of the one that I got that was going to apologize to you the soonest, like, they seem sweet. They just seem like they're too timid, too submissive. Like, they give up too easily, like, that kind of energy. Whereas this other person is really a douche canoe. Like, that's that's the apology that you're going to be like, oh, yes, that's going to feel good. Like, you're going to be like, I never thought I'd hear that from you. Like, it's it's going to be freeing. But like I said, I think you're going to be choosing new love. You're going to have options. You're going to have, honestly, I think you're going to have three options. I don't even think you're going to have two. You're going to have three options. You're going to have this person that was submissive, sweet, but too insecure, let you go too easily. Maybe ghosted you. Maybe got afraid. Maybe like afraid of confrontation, afraid of, you know, just can't handle it. Can't stick it out when things get hard. Just not on your level. They're not a bad person, but they're not as mentally strong as you. So you have that option, but like I said, you're not going to want it, I don't think. And then you have the person who's kind of like narcissistic, kind of set in their ways, and that's going to be the apology that you're going to just absolutely love. Like, it's going to just be freeing. And then you have the third option, which is, you know, new love, um, you know, mutual feelings, like the honeymoon phase. And I think that's the, that's the best option, honestly. I think that's probably the one that you're going to go for. But the world is going to be your oyster. And like I said, you're going to level up more and more and more. So show me more about this um, new love. And if you if you want to know about the exes, just send me an email and I'll go into the exes or I can go into the new person for you. Whatever you want to know about, you know, it's I don't judge. It's totally I totally understand. Some people do want their exes back. So I try to read both stories for you guys because I know some of you want the ex and some of you want the new person. So I try to let you get, let everybody know, you know, I try to be fair to everybody and let everyone know what's what's going on with each situation. But but let's look into the new person more because I feel like we looked into the the exes quite a bit in this reading. So let's what's going on with the new person. Hidden truth. Spying. 
Some of them could be on your social media. There could have been a truth that just came out and they might be spying about you. Some of them are having an epiphany that you are the one for them, that, you know, that you're like their twin flame or their soulmate. Because like I said in the beginning of the spread, I was getting that for some of them, they, you know, were having like dreams and visions about you or they were connecting with you psychically, but they kind of hesitated because they weren't used to that energy. So they just needed to step back for a minute and kind of ground themselves and kind of figure out what that was. And now they're wanting to come back around because, and this wouldn't be someone that like traded you like crap or ghosted you. No, it's not that kind of energy. It's more like someone that just kind of needed to think about things for just a little bit, you know, just a short period of time. Um, or it could be kind of saying that could happen with you guys, like when you meet that they, I don't think they would like leave you. They wouldn't like ditch you or anything, but they might just take some time to process things and kind of want to go like a little bit slowly, you know, as long as you guys are moving, as long as you guys are like going on dates and talking, that's what matters as long as the communication is open, but they just might like not understand the psychic world as much as you do like they might have questions i hope that makes sense it's like you might almost be like teaching them and like mentoring them about like like showing them like youtube readers and showing them um um maybe like teaching them witchcraft for some of them like you're going to be part of their um psychic awakening for a lot of a lot of them you're going to be helping them through that energy because this connection is going to be very telepathic so you're going to be kind of like explaining that to them i hope that makes sense like you're going to be um like maybe helping them with like dream interpretation or just kind of explaining like what you know twin flame in the twin flame soulmate community like you're going to be explaining those things to them is what i'm feeling here um, so it's kind of just saying like, go easy on them because yeah, you're used to this energy. You're used to channeling. You're used to, you know, psychic visions and dreams and watching YouTube readers and all that stuff. But this world is very new to them. Even though they, this is a very strong telepathic connection, it's still very unfamiliar. So you have to be kind of gentle with them and kind of go easy on them as they get used to this kind of stuff. So they don't get too spooked by it, you know? Like, you kind of just have to ease them into it. Um, but I feel like... Yeah, like, they might be hesitant a little bit, but... I feel like this hidden truth might be coming out about... Just recognizing something, recognizing the connection, recognizing, just embracing the psychic world, that kind of thing. And when they have this realization, they might be spying on you. They might be kind of observing you, trying to get some more answers on you. And they're going to be working up their courage and assertiveness to move forward. So just saying don't take it personally if they're kind of in their head a lot they're just they're processing it they haven't had this kind of relationship before so keep that in mind beauty mystery enchantment cold guarded distrusting sadness Toxicity, red flags. Okay, I feel like this is like a specific message for just one or two of you. So some of you have resting bitch face and it's saying to watch your body language when you're around this person because they might. You're trying to be beautiful and mysterious and enchanting and you are, don't get me wrong. But this person might have been through a lot of toxicity with exes in their past and they might have made them really sad and, and confused. So... They might, they might just have trauma, and so they might think that you're being cold or guarded when you're just trying to be mysterious. Like, maybe you're coming off the wrong way, so make sure your body language is open to the right people. Um, the second message I get, and again, this is probably just for, like, two or three specific people that I'm channeling here. The second message that I'm getting here is just more confirmation that your exes are going to be really sad they lost you. They are going to regret it. And you can't fathom it right now. Like, you're honestly like, nah, this person's too narcissistic. They would never apologize. No, they will, but it's going to be after you've gotten over it. Like, you're not going to want them back by the time they do apologize. And that's kind of how reconciliation works, too. Like, your person doesn't often come back when you want them to. Like, when you're like, like, if you've gone through a breakup and you're trying to manifest them back. Honestly, I hate to say it because I know it probably hurts, but... 
in reconciliation magic, I, I haven't really seen it work like that. Not very often, at least. Usually it's like when your energy shifts and you start letting go, they feel that energy shift and they come chasing you. The thing is, though, like maybe in the past you tried to fake it and pretend like pretend like you're over them. But this time you're going to be genuinely over them. So it's going to be a genuine energy shift. And when they come back around, you're just not going to care. Um, any final messages before I close the reading up? Like I said, my email is right below in the description box below this video. So just send me an email and I can do um, a private reading for you guys and go more in depth into your specific story. You know, this is just a general reading, but I can channel your specific case. Um, yeah, just let me know. Open, honest communication, fast moving. Okay, you might get a message quickly during Mercury retrograde. Fast moving energy, chaos. And you manifested this. You put the intention into the universe. So like, you might just like wake up. You might have like a dream about someone and like you wake up and there's like a message in your inbox and you're like, what the hell? <laughs> or you get like a middle of the night phone call or something like that. Yeah, someone wanting to reconcile. Someone wanting to see what's up with the connection. Divine intervention, being guided to you, synchronicity. Yeah, someone that was prideful and stubborn in the past. Miscommunication with them in the past. They're trying to be vulnerable now. But like I said, I feel like you're going to want the new love. The world is your oyster. You're, you're going to be able to... Well, power, strength, confidence. You're going to be able to have whatever you want. You're going to be able to have exes from the past or new love. Um, the ex is a karmic, honestly, I think. Yeah, still afraid of commitment. So be mindful, like, if, if you get... If you get an ex missing you during Mercury retrograde, I would, I would be careful with that. I'd be careful with that. Be strong during Mercury retrograde. Is that's the advice I'm gonna leave you with? Be strong. Do not, do not give in to the douchebags during Mercury retrograde. Just stay strong, even if it's lonely, because you do have new love here. You do have someone that's different than your usual type. Someone that's a lot healthier for you alpha male or alpha female energy someone that's just a lot um just stronger just more assertive more caring more empathetic just more on your level you know and you've been manifesting this this is what you've been asking for that's what you've been trying to manifest so it's here um so yeah uh yeah thank you guys for watching like i said my email is below um please subscribe if it resonates and donations are appreciated